Hi Wayne, it's uh, Gary Bizzo here. Uh, look at our uh, 2013 ambulance we purchased a few months ago and uh, the challenge of course is to anything you work on it, it's a mighty challenge. So yeah. thanks for showing up and uh, uh, welcome to my nightmare. Yeah, my so nightmare. I'm gonna help Gary out with the design and with some electrical issues and how to hook everything up. So uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun and interesting, so let's have a look inside to see what's awesome. in there already. Oh. So right now, the ambulance is basically, everything was uh, intact, how we bought it. Um, I see you did cut out the bottom here, uh, just to see what's underneath there, on the cupboard. Oh, that's for your bed, right? The bed is going to go uh, this way, widthwise. It's a short queen, so it's fifth, it's uh, seven inches shorter, and since we're both little people, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. uh, the height depends on the... Uh, the height, the eventual height of the uh, ice, ice co uh, fridge freezer, that's going to slide underneath the bed. I've got 500 pound slides, that'll extend 72 inches, which is overkill, but uh, that thing's pretty damn heavy. Yeah. Um, and I'm not sure what we have to, we have to do with this. We're well, we can. This out. Okay. Hey Gary, what I'll do is I'll uh, take all the measurements of the uh, fridge freezer you have, uh, design it on AutoCAD so we get everything to scale. Then I'll build the tray and everything as low as possible we can so that uh, it doesn't interfere too much or we minimize the uh, height of the bed. We also have to measure out the uh, height of your mattress, the sheets, blankets, everything that you've going on top to make sure that the height we have uh, most likely you will have to take out that bottom shelf and uh, work with that but uh, we'll make all the measurements first and then go from there. And, uh, I'm like you Wayne, I, I love the industrial look. I, I had a retired architect uh, from up the street come by and he says I've seen people tear these apart and he says why? Why would they do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I said I have no idea. And my wife was was keen on tearing it all apart until he said that. Yeah. And then we said, look at. Yeah. So I converted these to uh, LEDs. Yeah. I've did the same thing with mine. It just saves a lot of uh, power. Um, we have a. We bought a, a really nice three burner uh, countertop with a stove that's going to fit in here, and I'll. Uh, I'll take your idea of the checker plate and put it under here because I'm not going to get rid of this. No. I'm probably going to have to take this out. I bought a 72 inch uh, countertop, one of those butcher block things. It might be too wide here, but uh, we'll see. You can always cut it down. Yeah. And uh, the thing is, if you want to, like I did with my table, I can slide it in and out. It makes it much convenient. So you, you're traveling, you. You don't need it. You put it away. You've got other stuff you want to do and to get it out of the way. And uh, I guess you'll have to remove a few of the things on here. And you can also add, like I did, add more features for different lights, different controls. I mean, um, the, the funny thing is you, you look at this, when you put the bed in place, you realize there's only a certain way you can configure things. Yeah. Like, uh, is it, I was sponsored by a... a a beautiful stove company called Cubic Mini and uh, they sent me a complete package uh, the Grizzly which is it's only 12 inches square and it's a beautiful little wood burning stove brass and all that stuff and I'm gonna put it right here yeah it, it's it's it sits on the wall just goes through the ceiling and uh, it's ideal. You're going to take all these out, the mesh out. Yeah. You're thinking of putting cupboards in here too, storage over there? Yeah, it was going to yeah. maybe right here. Yeah. Well, this can come, like I took mine out on mine, which you saw. Yeah. And it gave me a bit more room. There's a bit of bend here, so it gives you another uh, few more inches of uh, space. And uh, I was going to see if uh, 
Crestline would sell me one of these. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you, yeah. you said you didn't have very good luck with those guys. No. I paid them 75 bucks for technical yeah. support. Yeah. yeah. And they actually sent me the, uh, I bought the isolator off them. Which, so, uh, maybe I was just talking to the wrong guy. Well, I was pretty persistent, I yeah. think. <laughs> and, uh, I didn't have my YouTube channel yet either. Yeah. So, yeah, well, I think now that I have a YouTube channel and, uh, I have, uh, well, just over 1,200 followers so far, so I'm getting there. I know, I know. Yeah. In, well, yeah, when I sent them an email, I, my letterhead says a million followers on social media. So yeah, yeah. I think that makes uh, a few doors open quicker. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, we could do. So uh, the, the wood, the 2 by 6s I'm going to put, I was going to put them this way and then this way. I bought uh, a special tool to make... Uh, rivet rivet bolts because everything in these things are rivet bolts yeah yeah um and then i was going to uh, i bought four of those extender uh bed frames from ikea yeah rivet nuts <laughs> no i yeah rivet nuts. nuts yeah i have the same thing i use the same thing yeah but the, the, yeah instead of having all kinds of wood supports i bought four uh those extenders yes. uh, that you put under a mattress at ikea yeah and I think that'll give you give me lots of support. Yeah. And like I said, once you, you, you set it up and have a couple things in, your bed is really important to set up. Other things could come after, but it's being comfortable with your bed and setting things up. Uh, like for myself, I've changed a few things around here and there. And like I said, you got to think of where I'm going to put my laundry. Where am I going to put my f food? Where am I, you know, those are all little f well, things. Well, the laundry will just go on the floor like my house. Yeah. <laughs> But I yeah. love the fact that our ambulances are identical in almost. Based yeah. almost, it uses a bit more modern. You've got your heater there. You've got the electric heater here. So that can come out, the heater. From the, I would take that and remove it. Move it. But the one on the corner? The one on the corner. Wow. What about this? That's a, probably a, a, we'll have to look at, could be another one, right? We'll have to take it. I mean, it makes a lot of noise, but yeah. I, it, the heat doesn't really work on it. Yeah. Um... That's why mine was very old, didn't work very well. I took it out and I put a new heater core in. Uh, that's just in process of installing, so uh, people on my video will see it shortly. Um, it uh, And I just wanted a little extra warmth in here while I'm driving. Yeah. Um, and you say you're going to, that we have the, uh, the access on the front. I had the same panel on the front. Yep. And I removed mine and I put in a, a barn door. Which makes it really easy so I can close it off, especially at night time. I don't have to worry about blocking all the windows off. I just close the door and it's done. Well, I was told that the inverter that I have behind the seat is quite loud. So I, I you usually don't lighten the inverter at night time when you're sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. With CPAP. I well, as CPAP, you're going to go for 12 volt on your CPAP, like I did. Right. Yeah. So you don't need the inverter. Well, those see, that's I, a, that's the thing you want to save as much power as you can. See, you're the electronics guy, and uh, yeah, I've been using a, a like a, a a real like a Electric. like a home electrician. Yeah, and he came in here, and uh, yeah. of course, everything he wants to do here is is overkill, as you can yeah, see. see the wire yeah, on. everything's overkill, and also, but you want to also minimize the amount of current you're drawing off your batteries. So Gary, what I'll do is during the week I'll be uh, making the uh, tray for your uh, fridge freezer so we know the exact height that we put the bed. Then we can work on uh, cutting the uh, cupboards out for your uh, mattress to make sure you have enough room to lie on there and uh, your feet will stick underneath. And then I'll also work on repositioning your inverter and uh, your um, batteries and to make sure that we have as much stuff as we can up front behind the driver's seats or the passenger seat so we have lots of room in the back for your main essentials. There will be more to come on Gary's ambulance conversion in the future as I'll be helping him out uh, again and again and uh, let me know what you think of the video and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to my channel it uh, will support me a lot. Thanks. Bye.